Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have a little bit of a rankings correction as per the WTA website. They've actually taken away all the points from the WTA finals from last year. Now, usually what happens with the rankings is they take away the WTA finals points after the WTA finals is held. So they've gone a little bit early on this. So let's have a look at the rankings, the updated rankings as of right now. Taking a look at the rankings here and no change at the top, which Fiontech staying at number one. Jabir goes in at number two, but Annette Contivate has dropped 14 spots down to number 17 after losing all the points from this time last year, but also the WTA finals points as well. So that's the difference in the rankings video we brought out yesterday is that Contivate's fallen out of the top 10 because they took away all their points from the WTA finals, which makes way for Pagula, who goes up to number three and Goff goes up to number four, which are both career high for them. Zachary goes up to number five with Garcia going up to number six, which is four spots higher than last week. And Sabalenka because she's dropped down three spots to number seven in the world. Again, due to dropping all the points from the WTA finals last year. Kazakina goes up to a career high number eight, which is three spots higher than last week. Kudamatoba goes up three spots to number nine, which is a career high for her. Simona Halep goes down to number 10. And Paola Badosa, she drops out of the top 10 completely, just like Contivate, losing all those points from the WTA finals last year after not being able to qualify for the finals this year. So there are the changes and the WTA finals are happening in a week's time. So that is what is the difference now, as opposed to yesterday's rankings, which we're actually still including the WTA Finals points. Now let's have a look at the players that have gone down in the rankings over the last week that are outside the top 10. So some of the big names that have dropped down the rankings due to the points falling off from last year's WTA Finals. Of course, we've already talked about Contivate and Badosa. They've dropped down four spots and 14 spots, respectively. Krejcikova dropped down four spots after failing to make the WTA Finals and losing points from the tournament last year. Karolina Pushkova has dropped down 12 spots to 32. Again, dropping those points from last year's finals. But Muguruza, she has dropped down 44 spots to number 57 in the world after dropping every point that she won at the WTA finals last year. Remember, she was the champion, so she's down at 57 in the world after dropping all those points. So huge losses for those players that failed to make it to the WTA finals this year. So there you have it. They are the adjustments to the WTA rankings from yesterday's video that we bought out. But Usually what happens is after 52 weeks, the points get dropped off. So the WTA Finals was in November last year. So the WTA have gone a little bit early with their rankings this year and taken all the points away from the WTA Finals. I guess to start a fresh new finals race, or at least a fresh new uh, ranking situation going into the WTA Finals. So it lines up a bit better when we watch the WTA Finals in a couple of weeks. But they're the differences and a massive change, especially to Muguruza and Contivate, who both made the final last year at the WTA Finals. They didn't make it this year, so they can't even defend those points, even if they wanted to. But let me know down in the comments below, who's the biggest shock for you? A lot of players getting career high rankings. And the WTA Finals is just around the corner, and now the rankings are set. It's going to be very, very fun to watch the WTA Finals in a week's time.